Don't be shy. All right, if everyone can please make their ways to their seats. Welcome to the Fort Myers Discovery Dinner to support the Archway Institute. I am thrilled to see so many wonderful community leaders and advocates attending here tonight. My name is Dawn Bellamarch, and I am the president and CEO of Collaboratory, an incredible organization in downtown Fort Myers that is driven to alleviate social issues impacting our region by the year 2040. I am also a proud member of the Archway, a board member of the Archway Institute as well as a licensed mental health and addiction therapist. The mission of Archway Institute is an incredible one. Archway is an organization committed to serving the community by providing education to increase awareness and transform perspectives around substance use and co-occurring mental health disorders. Archway advocates for long-term recovery by providing guidance and financial support to expand access to care and healthy solutions. Archway helps break down barriers supports individuals on their recovery journey, and educates the public on substance use and mental health. They are inspirational in so many ways, from the foundational work of the Stuckey family, who created this wonderful organization, to the incredible board and team members who show up daily to advocate for this work. This work is imperative. We are facing a crisis, and by being here tonight, you demonstrate the power that we can and need to have to rally around this issue. I wanted to share a few statistics locally, um, from the 2020 Lee County Community Health Needs Assessment. In Lee County in 2020, that's where we are right now, there were 31.4 unintentional drug-related deaths per 100,000 people in our county. That's compared to 21.8 in Florida and 18.1 overall in the United States. In the 2020 survey, 6.4% of Lee County adults acknowledged using an illicit drug in the past month compared to only 2% in the United States. Just for a reference point, I love math, ask Brown. The population of Lee County in 2021 was almost 787,000 people. That equates to almost 53,000 that were using an illicit substance during that time. In 2020, 16.7% of Lee County adults reported using a prescription opioid in the past year. That's compared to only 12.9% in the United States. It's a big difference. And by the way, this was all before Hurricane Ian hit. An article came out this morning in the Tampa Bay Times noted, noting the devastating deaths by suicide that have occurred post-storm. The new community health needs assessment is due to come out in the next few months, and there is no doubt that the problem will be more dire in our area. I have been leading mental health and addiction organizations across the country for years. I am honored to be involved with an organization that is prioritizing recovery for those struggling with substance use and mental health issues. For those of you who know me, you know I'm a tireless advocate for this work. I've watched addiction and mental health tear apart communities, families, and individuals, many my own friends and family. I've watched people use substance one time and not return. I have watched decades of struggles tear apart the fabric of strong, loving family units, I have seen more mental health and addiction related fatalities than I care to recall. But the most memorable thing I've experienced in this journey is hope. I have seen hope in action. I have seen firsthand a human being who has been struggling with mental health and addiction for years complete treatment. I watched the light return to the eyes of both them and their loved ones. I have witnessed individuals embrace recovery enter rooms full of complete and utter strangers and share their experience, strength, and hope. More than that, I have watched the restoration of families and careers, many of them within my own personal network. Your presence here today is another example of this hope. Hope that we can continue to fight for those who are struggling. Hope that we can continue to shine a light on these diseases and be the voice for those who still face stigma and fear. Hope that when a group of committed humans come together to support an organization and a calling, we can help so many more people realize and access this hope. I appreciate everyone being here. Now, enough of me speaking. Um, we are going to enjoy dinner, and I want to give a shout out to everyone that's presenting tonight. I know Emily, our CEO, will be coming up, 
but you also have an incredible Palumbo group, as I call them. Um, they are were some of the, the first two people that I met when I moved down here, and I can tell you they are also tireless advocates for this. So you are going to be experiencing a great event tonight. I have been told that Billy, Billy, hand up. Billy will be helping us out to get to the buffet one table at a time. Um, and I really hope everyone enjoys the evening. I want to thank you for all for being here. Thank you for all you do. And thank you for supporting our mission here at Archway. Enjoy your night.